Final Tap and the Princess Bride. City Slickers and Mr. Saturday Night. <laughs> Billy's been honored with the Tony Award for his two act one man autobiographical play, 700 Sundays, is a six time Emmy Award winner, and in 2007 received the esteemed Mark Twain Prize for American Women. It's hard to even imagine a Sully without Mike, and thanks to Billy Crystal, we don't have to try. He's described his famous one-eyed alter ego as fast and edgy, speedy and nuts, aggressive and romantic, and positive, always with two claws on the ground. <laughs> you can pretty much say the same thing about Billy as long as you added in a few other things like brilliant, insanely talented, and funnier than just about any other five guys put together. I first met Billy in 1990 when ABC asked him host the Oscars for the first time. And he did it so well, the ABC brought him back to do it again, and again, and again, and again, for a total of nine times. <laughs> he is the only person who has hosted more Oscar shows, or the only person that hosted more Oscar shows than Billy was Bob Hope, who holds the record with 18. We've got nine to go to tie, Billy. <laughs> Turns out, Billy and I actually have a lot in common. We grew up in neighboring towns, just minutes away from each other. And we're both diehard Clipper fans. There's some rough years there. <laughs> and passionate Yankee fans where it is a rough year. <laughs> and we both got our big breaks in television on ABC. He was a rising young star on Soap, as mentioned earlier, while I was a rising young whatever, getting up early to fetch coffee for soap stars in New York. But in the end, it looks like we both did okay, a couple of kids from Long Island. Woo! Billy has pretty much done it all. He's a comedian, an actor, a writer, a director, a producer, a host, the world's oldest Major League Baseball player, a good friend, and now a Disney legend, and also a romantic, as we heard earlier. Please welcome Disney legend, Billy Crystal. feeling of being part of the Disney family and um, it really means a great deal to me to be to be part of this group uh, being called legends um, you know it's an amazing thing my favorite movie is Pinocchio my favorite characters are Jiminy Cricket yeah. and Dopey because that's how I looked most of my teenage years <laughs> I had a crush on beautiful Annette Funicello. I wanted to go to camp with Spin and Marty. But the great thing about all of these shows, and the important thing about all of these shows and why this award means so much to me is that we all sat down as a family and watched them together. And now with the way... With the way that we watch television, the way the television is delivered to us, families very rarely sit down and watch the same show together. 
So I think that's a heritage that I'm trying to, you know, keep going with, with my family now because it's so important that we do this together. Um, I love being Mike Wazowski. Uh, <laughs> he's so much bigger in person. It's amazing. <laughs> you haven't been hanging out with A-Rod, have you? <laughs> It is a joy that people have taken these two characters, and I say these two characters because John and I are very much a team uh, in these movies. Um, he's, he's a fantastic spirit. He's such a generous actor, and we work together. We always work together. And when Mike can fly off and go crazy for a little while, and I can hopefully find some new funny things to put into the script, um, there's always John there to put the, the lead in my in my claws and keep me on the ground. So, John, you're a big part of this award to me, and uh, the fact that we're going in to the, to the Hall of Fame uh, here together <laughs> means it means a great deal to me. Um, so, from this little kid from Long Beach, Long Island, who watched it uh, on black and white, Fantasyland has now become reality land to me, um, and because of Walt Disney. Even in the black and white, I saw everything in color. And so uh, being part of this, of, of this group today means really a great deal. I thank a lot of people. Sitting in the front, Mr. John Lasseter. Where you, John? He's the Darla Anderson, Pete Dr. Dan Scanlon, all the amazing people uh, at Pixar who you get to work with, all our fellow actors who you don't really see to the premiere. <laughs> because we're sort of locked in this little booth together and then all of those amazing actors in all of the movies, all of the art designers, every animator. I mean, when you look at the credits, they're so long because so many geniuses worked on it. And so to be part of it is a fantastic experience. I'm thrilled to be here. This is what happens when you wish upon the star. Aww. Thank you.